All right, so this story is a little disgusting. It's a story about my roommate Brewer and myself living in a house infested with rats. Delicious. Now after all the haunted duplex shenanigans, me and Brewer decide to move into an even shittier house in an even shittier neighborhood. And instead of dealing with demon ghosts, we get to deal with a bunch of disgusting ass rats. I think I'd rather live with like a pissed off orangutan or something like that instead. Uh, Mr. Bubbles, do you mind if we watch Netflix in here? <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> now when we moved in, we obviously didn't know that the house was infested. But after a couple of days, we started seeing tiny poop pellets in the kitchen. Um, hey, have you been leaving little tiny turds around the house? Um, no. Huh. Well, I wonder what that's all about. It wasn't until one night I was in the bathroom taking a dump, and I look over, and I see the ass of a rat hanging out of a hole in the wall. Well, that's not something you want to see while you're totally vulnerable taking a poop. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? Now, my first instinct was to uh, grab a pair of scissors and cut its tail off. But then I was like, no, that's fucked up. It's like some Jeffrey Dahmer shit. What the hell's the matter with you? So in mid-poop, with my pants around my ankles, I open the door and yell, RATS! We got rats in the house! Invading my privacy! Now it's important to note that this wasn't a mouse. A mouse is little, it's cute, it's friends with Donald Duck, people like mice. Rats on the other hand, they're big, they're nasty, and they couldn't give two fucks about Donald Duck. Now my bedroom in this house was on the bottom floor, so that means I could hear the rats outside my door all night long. Now that's pretty damn disgusting. All I could think about was, well, what the hell happens if one of them comes in here? Hey! Hey, what's the password to your Netflix account? We want to watch season four of Scrubs out there. I'd open my bedroom door. They'd all scatter every which way. But there was one big ass rat that was like twice the size of any of the other ones. That goddamn thing was like half the size of Brewer's dog. It was the Megazord of rats. That goddamn thing looked like a boss from a Mortal Kombat game. It was not afraid of me at all. It'd just be staring at me like, the fuck are you looking at? Why don't you get in the kitchen and make me some bagel bites? So needless to say, we had a big problem on our hands. People stopped coming to our house and shit. I'm not going over over there? I don't want typhus. Well, I'll be damned if I'm gonna live up to my asshole and a bunch of rats. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So the next night, I'm laying on the living room floor with a BB gun. I got a cupcake out in the kitchen as bait. It's time to pull a Lee Harvey Oswald and assassinate me a few rats. Now, I actually got real footage of this fantastic time in my life. Boom, right there's the cupcake. Buttercream frosting, it's delicious. And look who shows up. Fat ass rat looking to party. I take the shot and I totally fuck it up. Well, some Lee Harvey Oswald I am. Jesus Christ, my ass wouldn't even uh, hit JFK's convertible shooting like that. So let's slow the footage down and analyze it like some little rat Zapruder film. Here's the shot. And this goddamn rat does some Neo from the Matrix backflip bullshit over my goddamn bullet. Okay, so clearly the BB gun is not gonna work. Time to move on to rat poison. We sprinkle a bit of rat poison right on the front step of this asshole's house. And sure as hell, the next day, it's all gone. They damn well lick that plate clean. Two days later, I go in our basement and there's four dead rats on the ground. All right, job well done. But wait a minute, where's that big bastard at? That goddamn Megazord rat is nowhere to be seen. Two more days go by. I'm sitting in my room watching TV, and lo and behold, the big kahuna himself comes crawling across the floor in broad daylight like somebody's drunk uncle and just dies right there in the middle of the living room. And here's a picture of that goddamn thing. I uh, put a little Taco Bell packet in there so you could get a reference of the size. But before we can celebrate, Brewer's dog prances on in. She sees that dead rat and she's like, Oh, what do we have here? A dead rat full of disease and poison? Well, I better have a lick. Um, 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 um. Uh, shortly afterwards, I walk out there, see Brewer's dog making out with this rat carcass. The dog looks up at me like, Well, I wasn't just gonna leave it there. I'm a dog, you stupid ass. So I panic. I call up Brewer while he's at work. And I'm like, uh, your dog was just licking a dead rat like an ice cream cone. You got any last words you want to say to her? But she was all right. We took her to a vet afterwards and they gave her some medicine. How about you don't let your dog eat dead rats? So her house was officially rat free. Nobody got typhus and I could poop in peace again. The end. BruceDude.com